Hey guys, welcome back to an interesting video on Wild Rift. So today we're going over all of the like loadouts, meaning the items and runes for all of the ADC champions. Of course, loadout includes the spells too, but we're not going to talk too much about the spells so as to not waste too much time. Now, initially I wanted to do this video on the first day the patch released, but you know, on that day I had a really bad like cough and, and a bad throat, so couldn't really make videos on that day. And even now, it's still kind of there, but it's gotten a lot better, so hopefully I won't... Um, cough throughout the video or something like that but I should be fine so anyways let's get um, straight um, into it so the first thing before I start covering each ADC individually is I wanted to kind of go through um, what is like the main uh, rune page for ADCs now of course all of these runes are really really new and like as of now it's only a couple of days since the patch came out there hasn't really been a very strong like meta surrounding the runes yet but most likely, uh, as we've seen from PC League, most of the time a meta sort of forms around the runes. So there are uh, there is an optimized like page of runes where, if you're not going the optimized page of runes, it's probably you're probably not playing the the game properly. Like you should be going an optimized page. For now, those have not been figured out yet. But of course, I have my own ideas of what they may be. So it might be a little bit a little bit hard to get um, a variety later on. Now, of course, this could also be affected by what runes are OP. So of course if a particular rune is OP, it's gonna be you know a lot better to take than other runes. So for example, currently I think like first strike is really really strong at the moment. I think it's giving way too much gold and uh, the damage increase is pretty insane. So I think whoever can take first strike should be taking first strike at this point in time. But of course you know for champions that don't take first strike you never want to take it. Champions like Vayne here for example. So now let's get straight into what is the optimized rune page for ADCs. Now first up, straight up, I think almost every ADC is going to be taking precision. Or actually I do think every ADC is going to be taking precision. So precision is this yellow one, the second one. So you're very likely going to take Brutal. Because here you have Brutal, Triumph, and Gathering Storm. Gathering Storm st sucks for AD champions. Triumph is not too bad, but Brutal just increases your auto attack damage and it's probably going to be the best uh, option you have in this slot. So in your next slot, you have Last Stand, which gives you more damage when you're low on health. Giant Slayer, which is good against tanky targets who have a lot of health. And Coup de Gras, which ha gives you increased damage against low health targets. Now, of course, as an ADC, you want to be killing people. So Coup de Gras, in general, is going to be the best default rune. But if you're playing into a very tanky team, Giant Slayer becomes the best option. Now, Last Stand is honestly pretty bad it's only really good on Samira or Nyla but even on those two I still think that uh, it may not even be the best now for the third rune uh, it's between legend uh, it's you have legend alacrity you have legend tenacity and you have legend bloodline now for me personally I believe I take legend bloodline on every single champion because my personal philosophy is 20% attack speed versus 7% Omnivamp. Now I'm always going to take the vamp because attack speed is really easy to get in items whereas Omnivamp, if you think about it, or not even Omnivamp, any kind of vamp like physical vamp, you can only get it from like Shield Bow and Bloodthirster and uh, Blade of the Rune King. Most ADCs don't build Blade of the Rune King and Shield Bow and Bloodthirster are generally uh, uh, items you build later on. Some ADCs do get Shield Bow early on but um, generally I think lifesteal is a lot more valuable. Now. For the secondary rune, I think the most standard option is going to be Bone Plating. Because Bone Plating, of course, is still very strong. Helps you out a lot in lane and also helps you block combo damage later on in the game. And it's just a very strong rune in general. However, uh, I do have... Uh, of course, every ADC does have some specialized runes that they can take as their secondary. But I'm going to go over some of the more standardized runes that any ADC can take. So first one is, of course, Perseverance. Which, of course, gives you increased defense when you get hit by CC. This is of course very useful when you're against very high CC comps because sometimes it's li literally impossible to avoid the CC so best you can do is to get more defenses when you are hit by the CC. Nulling Flying Orb is technically an option but Bone Plating is just a better version so why go for that? Now over here Sweet Tooth is technically an option if you really like that but why go for Sweet Tooth when you can go for Bone Plating it, 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 however it is an option. Now. Animal Crafting is also an option, but I honestly have never seen anyone take this and I don't really think it's good because paying 150 extra gold uh, to just buy an item outside of the base is not worth it in my opinion. Just base, get your health and mana and get the item. So, Transcendence could be good on certain ADCs, but honestly, m majority of ADCs don't need Transcendence. The only reason why you took it previously is because you didn't really have better options in the Inspiration Tree. Uh, mana Flow Band could be good for certain ADCs that are very mana hungry, but honestly, I don't think it's a very good rune because there are a lot better options. 
Nimbus Cloak is still a really good option for a rune, honestly, because you get increased um, um, movement speed when you cast summoner spells, it's really, really useful. And finally, Futures Market here is also really good because you don't actually go into debt. I mean, you do go into debt, but you don't owe anything extra compared to what you paid for, unlike PC. So this actually could be really good, but honestly, in solo queue, I feel like this may not be really good because item breakpoints are not as crucial in solo queue as like competitive. Uh, for example, I think competitive, like item breakpoints are a lot more crucial. I don't think most people know how to use this rune properly anyways, because it involves like really knowing when to buy what, like at, w at which minute, which second you need to buy this item and you need this rune to get it. So in domination, you do have a couple of options as well. Shield bash, if you have like a healing or shielding support, could be an option. Um, Empowered attack could be an option as well, uh, if you want even more offensive power. Um, Mark of the Week could also be an option if you are casting spells. Eyeball Collection gives you extra AD could also be an option. Zombie War uh, could also be an option as well. But overall, um, there are so many like options, quote unquote. But really, I think the only real viable options are honestly uh, Bone Plating, uh, Perseverance are probably your two best options. And then over here, probably your third best option is going to be Nimbus Cloak. And uh, Honestly, that's pretty much it. I think that these are the three best options for your secondary rune. Of course, there are a lot of uh, other options, but I think these are the best. So now I'm going to go over the ADC builds. Now, I'm not going to talk about each build individually because we've already covered... On Honestly, all of these builds are the same as the ones I covered in my complete guides in the previous patch. So if you want a detailed explanation, take a look at my complete guides playlist. And um, at the start of the video, I'm going to give an explanation for why, why we're building what we're building. The only real difference is what boots we're going to go and when we're going to go for it. So that's the main thing I'm going to be explaining here. For ADCs, generally you have like two options. You either um, you either go for the Berserker Grease, which gives you 15 AD, 30% attack speed, as well as movement speed, or you go for the, not that, you go for, where did it go? Ah, the Gluttonous Greaves. So Gluttonous Grease, of course, gives you 30 AD, which is double the AD, same movement speed, but gives you 7% Omnivamp. Now, like I said, my personal philosophy is Omnivamp is better than Attack Speed, because Attack Speed is a lot easier to build than Omnivamp. Although, in certain builds, you have a lot of damage without Attack Speed, and in those cases, you do want to go for Gluttonous Grease. Um, Berserker Greaves, don't know why I keep mixing them up, but yeah. Defensive Boots are only an option if you're against a full team of AP or a full team of AD, which is extremely rare. But it's still possible, but generally you don't want to go for these. Um, for these three boots, it's only very specialized cases. We'll, we'll talk about them later. But yeah, so let's get into it. So first up, Vayne. I think Vayne ca can rush uh, Berserker Greaves if she wants, because it gives her pure attack speed because she does want attack speed. So you could go for that first. Rest of the build is the same. Um, Jinx. Now, Jinx, because you are... Uh, in my build, you're, you're starting off with a Phantom Dancer, and that gives you very little AD. So I like to start off with Berserker Greaves to get my starting AD, and then go into Phantom Dancer, and then, of course, go into the rest of my build. And, of course, oh, I forgot to talk about the runes. So Vayne, uh, Vayne's runes is the standard ADC page with Lethal Tempo. Um, for Jinx, is the standard ADC page, but I take Conqueror, because I think attack speed from Phantom Dancer and Hurricane is already enough, plus my passive. And next up, we have Jin. So, Jin, um, once again, you can rush Boots, Gluttonous Greaves if you want. Now, Jin can, uh, Jin should never, ever go for Berserker Greaves because Berserker Greaves, you get your attacks being converted into AD. And you, when you convert it into AD, I think you get about 22 uh, AD total and you get less than Berserker Greaves. So, never go for, for Berserker Greaves, uh, go for Gluttonous Greaves all the time. If you want on Jin, you can technically go for Boots of Dynamism uh, for the Armor Pen if you like that. Uh, it's also possible, especially in the Lethality build. This is, of course, the crit build. You, of course, take the standard uh, room page with Fleet Footwork. You also have a Lethality build like that. Same thing, standard room page with Fleet Footwork. Now, because First Strike is so OP now, you could take First Strike on Jin. Um, but honestly, First Strike on Jin isn't really that good. It's only because it's OP now that it's kind of working. But uh, if it gets nerfed, it's not going to be good anymore. Kai'Sa is going to be like Conqueror with the uh, standard uh, standard rune page for ADCs. Um, this is sort of a Essence Reaver build that I've been testing out, but of course if you go for the normal build, it's going to be like this one, something like that. And on Neela, it's it's going to be a little bit different. Now, honestly, Neela has a little bit more options. Now, we've just gone over um, Neela in, um, uh, in our guide, 
but Nino has a lot of options. So the the, the ADC page is going to be pretty standard, but you you can go for Triumph as well for the heal. Uh, but honestly, you could go for Brutal as well. Like you do auto attack quite a bit as well. You could go for Brutal. You go for second win um, over here for your lane sustain. You could also go for a lot of other runes like uh, Revitalize or even Sudden Impact because of your dash. So a lot of options for, for uh, Nyla herself. And for Nyla, I actually like to go for the Berserker Greaves as my second item after I get Shieldbow because I want to have Shieldbow for first dragon. So Lucian... Um, Goes for uh, Berserker Greaves, of course, because I do like Berserker Greaves. I normally take, take it second because I want to have uh, Essence Reaver Spike early. And uh, you go, of course, for Kraken Slayer with the standard ADC room page. Tristana, Conquer, standard ADC room page. I like to go for uh, Gluttonous Greaves at the beginning to get a little bit of AD because I'm starting off with my Phantom Dancer. Next up. Alright, honestly, you could go for uh, Berserker Greaves if you wanted to on Tristana as well because it helps you charge the bomb faster, but I get to test Tristana out in this patch, so for now, that's what I have. Now, Zaya is sort of the same deal. Um, you can go for Berserker Greaves, but honestly, you already have so much attack speed from Phantom Dancer and Navori uh, with your W cooldown, so I like to go for Gluttonous Greaves and conquer the standard ADC uh, rune page. And then, of course, for Twitch... Um, Twitch does have a couple of different builds, but generally I like to take Lethal Tempo on Twitch because you want to get the poison more quickly. Uh, but I do want to take Gluttonous Greaves, but not as a first item. I want to go for my attack speed items first and then go into Gluttonous Greaves, so a little bit later on. Um, same kind of deal for like the other um, Twitch builds. Twitch, of course, can also go for Sudden Impact uh, for the Armor Penetration as his second, uh, second item. And if you're going for jungle twitch, first strike is probably going to be your best option because you can come in and gank unseen and confirm the first strike proc. Now Corky um, always goes for first strike. I'm going to do a Corky guide real soon. Uh, first strike is amazing on Corky because of his long range ulti. And you do want to go for the boots of mana on Corky. Gives you mana regen as well as magic pen. And I think that that's probably the best for Corky. Otherwise, uh, lucidity boots works well as well. So MF. Now... Lethal MF, you want to go for a first strike um, for Lethal MF, and the rest is standard ADC runes. Um, I'm going to cover Lethal MF in a video later on, uh, real soon. And if you go for like a normal MF build, uh, where is my normal MF build? Uh, not that. But like something like this, um, for example, just like a, a man immune, like with, with crit kind of build, you want to go for either Conqueror or you want to go for Kraken Slayer. So. Zeri, um, Lethal Tempo, Standard ADC, Rune Page, you do want to go for um, the Gluttonous Greaves. Of course, Zeri is all about the uh, healing, but I'd like to go for it later on. Like I like to go for Shield Bow uh, and Phantom Dancer first because I think that those item break points are more important. And Shield Bow before First Dragon is something that I like, as you guys have seen from this video. Now, Draven can actually rush the Gluttonous Greaves first um, because you're not going for Shield Bow first item and then uh, into the rest of the build. Uh, for the runes... Is the standard ADC room page, but Draven has three options. You can go Conquer, you can go uh, Kraken, or you can go for Lethal Tempo. It's sort of like a, um, depending on your preference. But honestly, my preference is actually Lethal Tempo because I don't have any, I don't have any uh, attack speed in my build. So I actually like going for uh, Lethal Tempo. Maybe you could argue that uh, I could go for the Gluttonous Greaves here and not go for Lethal Tempo instead. So you know, could be an option as well. So Ash, I like going for. Uh, the Kraken Slayer on Ash, and uh, Ash likes attack speed, but honestly, this is a lot of attack speed. So I don't really know if uh, uh, Berserker Greaves are a little bit overkill. Maybe I should be going for the the uh, Gluttonous Greaves, but for now, I have uh, the Berserker Greaves here because Ash likes attack speed. So Varus, we have a Lethality Varus with uh, First Strike, of course, and Varus is the only one you don't really use a standard ADC room page because uh, if you take the standard ADC room page, it's kind of pretty useless because you don't really want uh, Brutal, you don't really want like, uh, you do want Coup de Gras but you don't really want the rest. So I actually take um, Scorch, Mark of the Week and Eyeball Collection because we're using uh, this like full poke build basically. And uh, I do like to take either B Lucidity Boots or Boots of Dynamism over here. So next up we have Ezreal. So Ezreal takes first strike for now because first strike is OP, but if first strike gets nerfed, you can go for Conqueror or Kraken Slayer. Standard ADC rune page, and um, 
uh, Lucidity Boots over here, no other options for Ezreal. Samira uh, takes the standard ADC Rune Page, kind of, but instead of going for Brutal and uh, Coup de Gras, you go for Last Stand and uh, Triumph. Triumph healing is really good for Samira resetting when she's ulting, and Last Stand is really helpful because she's a lot of times like you get pummeled in your ulti and you get low, so Last Stand is going to be pretty helpful. And uh, Gluttonous Greaves, of course, because Samira uh, loves healing. And then Caitlyn, uh, again, Gluttonous Greaves, but not so early because you want to get the Storm Razor Power Spike. And uh, I like going for Lethal Temple with the standard ADC Room Page because Caitlyn doesn't have any attack speed steroids in her kit. And lastly, we have, uh, I guess we could cover Senna, but Senna is pretty standard. You go for Kraken Slayer with the standard ADC Room Page, and then you go for Revitalize for increased healing and shielding. And yeah. That's pretty much it. So hopefully this uh, uh, was kind of helpful to like sort of know what to start off with in terms of ADCs. Now, of course, I haven't even tested all the ADCs yet. I only played a couple since the patch released, but this is my initial kind of thoughts. Uh, of course, this will change later on, and I will be trying to make videos for all of the individual uh, ADCs if I can. Uh, but it's going to take some time, and I'm pretty busy, so we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video, and uh, goodbye.